Good day, guys. Bing here.、Um, today, let's、uh, let's model something. Okay, so、um, I know this is quite ugly. So、uh, what I was trying to do is I tried to quickly do some、uh, math math study. So, for example, I, if if I want to roughly model that, so how can I do it? So.、Um, So this is what I had.、Um, looks like the height of the, these、uh, block blocks are、uh, maybe need to increase this height so it will more it will、uh, look look more like this. But anyway, so let's have a play with this. Okay, so um, um, first let's create a. Family, so it will be a, a face-based family, and then、uh, let's just add some reference plans, dimensions, or、oh, maybe we don't need this one. So what I'm going to do is I'll just、uh, add one from this. So this will be、uh, my base. So imagine this is the、uh, floor level, and then. This one will be the ceiling level. So let me just change this one to、um, maybe three point six meter, maybe. Okay, so that's that's okay. So and then just add another two dimension equal another dimension. So this will be、uh, the width of、uh, one of the block. Okay, so、uh, let's create a parameter. I'll just call it a W instance and 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 OK. So I'll just for now I'll just type in a number. So maybe a three meter for example, and then、uh, we're going to. So let let me just drag、uh, increase the size of this base. So this is the base of this face based family. So we're just going to increase that. So To be higher than that, this reference、uh, reference plan lower than this reference plan, and allow so a little bit,、um, roughly thirteen meter. Yep,、yeah, that should be enough. So,、um, okay. So now we we're going to let me try if I see.、Uh, let's see if we can. Yeah, we can do that. So let me select all these reference plan.、Uh, maybe unpin them. And right click, maximize. So yeah, that's better. So、um, now I'm going to create a void. Okay. So void, void extrusion, and a rectangle. And then I'll just、uh, start from this point and end at this point, and then lock, and go to front view, and This uh, uh, void need to go down. Okay, so so finish. So we just need to drag this down.、Um, for the depths of this void,、uh, we will need another reference plan. Okay, and then do a dimension. So from here to、uh, to the to the reference plan. So tab tab. So see this dash. A dot dash line. So this is the level. If you tab again, you will see this a dash dashed line. So this is reference plan. So pick the reference plan. Okay.、Um, and then let's create a depth. So let's call it D instance. Okay. So for now, I'll change this to maybe three meter. And then I'll drag this void to lock onto the reference plane. So now we have a, a void. So this is a parametric void, and we can change the change the.、Uh, so if if you go to family types, so the depth and the width. Okay. So、um, I don't want to change the height because I want to I want them to keep the same height height.、Um, and also you can change the Depths of this base. So, for example,、uh, you can just give it.、Um, I'll just leave it as it is. So, 
let's cut this. So cut base void. So now this is a face based family. So this uh, what this family do is it will cut a hole on a face. So now let's go to a uh, create a project architecture or oh, hell. I'm using 2022. Ah, that's fine. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'll just use model in place and create a maybe generic model. And okay, so I'll just do a extrusion. So and then create a um, um, what's the size? I'm not sure. Maybe 30 meter by 30 meter. Okay, so and then the height, um, maybe 200 meter. Is that 200? Yep. And okay. So now let's have a look in 3D view. So this is our building. Okay, so it looks quite maybe lower a little bit. <laughs> anyway, um, now let's finish it. So go back to the uh, this face based family. So load this into the project and go to 3D view. So now we can place this one. Okay, so I'll just place it, place one here. Uh, looks like uh, it, it, it's wrong direction. -ish. That's fine. We can just space it. So just uh, press space to rotate it, it by 90 degree. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'll just move it to this edge. Okay, so I'll roughly copy some of them. So uh, this is copy. So maybe one, two, three, four, and maybe copy some more, uh, roughly like this, like this, like this. Okay, so uh, this warning is uh, telling me uh, some of the face based families placed outside of this uh, face. I think it will be deleted or yeah, it's still there. Sorry, it's still there. That's fine. So that's a warning, just telling you. And also, um, place place you can place here some. Oops, rotate, move it down roughly, and let's copy. Maybe copy from this point. Uh, maybe just click on this so it's easier to pick the point. Okay, so let's copy more. Maybe I'll copy some here as well. And then copy some of this up. And oh, that's a gap. Um, let me do it again. One, two, three, CC. CC, pick, uh, try to pick the point, some point. Maybe here, there. Okay, so now we have something like this. Um, I'll just quickly so because we have the um, have the parameter. So if you change it, so you can manually do it here. So for example, the uh, depths. I'll just if I change it to six meter, it will, it will cut uh, deeper. If I change the width, uh, uh, the width, so to nine meter, it will you know change this. Uh, as well. So what I'm going to do, I'll just quickly go to manage and then um, um, open the Dynamo. And so we will just very quickly uh, continue. Oops. Okay. So new. So right click. Uh, uh, maybe just go there. So Revit. And element selection, so family types. Okay, so find that family. So because I didn't name it, it will start from family one, two, three. So you can always find it here. So and then all element of that family type, and set set parameter. Okay, set parameter by name, and then link parameter name. So let's have a look. Let's just select one of the family with uh, D and W. So we can just double click uh, D. Uh, sorry, D, the capital D, and 
uh, W. Okay, so for this one, we can just link D, and we just need to cre create a list of numbers. So D is for depth, depth, oh sorry, not depth, depth. So three meter, uh, I'll just start from three meter, and um, three meter, so maybe uh, 1.5 meter, to maybe six meter every um every every 300 so this will give us a list six 16 numbers so how many families we need uh, just let, let's have a look up uh, we need 636 which means means we need more so maybe i'll just change this to 100 so we will have enough just enough to cover this list so i'll just link this but before that i'll add a shuffle so it will be random okay so link this link this and then you will see all uh, the depths of this become uh, become random so some some deeper some shallower yeah and the same so we can just copy this Control c Control v and still keep the element uh, parabola name change this to W okay so I'll just move this a little bit uh, and then the value so currently the value is the same so that's why it become very short so we just need to c copy this Control V maybe cop maybe co copy the shuffle as well but for this list I'm going to change this from uh, maybe um, 4.5 meter to 12 meter and every uh, maybe 600 let's see how many do we have 13 change this to 200 we have uh, 38 yeah just enough so now link this to this and then and all these uh fam all these um become random so some of them are quite short maybe that's too short 600 in oh so six uh six six meter minimum yeah so um yeah i think that that's it so so this is a very quick exercise so to quickly just create something like like this we can just uh let's just do this sa select all and see if we can just copy them down okay so we have another set of you know these and maybe i'll just copy this up over there and then what we need to do is we just need to increase because currently so it looks like uh, the same exactly the same um duplicate of this and because we don't have enough uh, for because currently the the number of the elements here it become 108 but we still have only 46 for this and only have 30, 30, 31. So we just need to, you can either remove, reduce the, reduce this to double or even 50, change it to 50. So we have, we will have enough, just enough to cover, cover this list. So for this one, currently we have 46, maybe I'll change this to 40 and then we will have just just enough 113 yep just enough so now you will see they become slightly different okay so and then um yeah that's that's pretty much it so once you add more and then you just need to you can just uh adjust this um and also let me think maybe we can just create a, a something a slider to control all these so maybe let's do this um, instead of instead of change this number change this number so we can just keep, keep just um, make it 100 and make this 100 as well we just need to add a um, cycle add a cycle for this and we just need add a uh, integer slider so 
or add an inter slider, it start from let's say uh, start from 10. Okay, finish at 20. Okay, so and then link this to this. So this will generate a list of say 406. That's enough. And also link this to the shuffle. And the same, I'll just copy this one. Control C, Control V, and link this to the this block. And then same, still times 10, and link this to this shuffle. So this will feed uh, the 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 width. So this is for the depth. So now, if you you can you can do this. So you can use this. So if you change, so if if you click on this, you will see all. It will um, change the shape. Okay. So yeah, you can just try to play with this number and see. Uh, maybe you can find a pattern you you like uh, the best. Okay, so the most. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's that's it. So this is a simple way to create some mess. Um, and of course, you can. Once you are quite happy with this one, so maybe you just break this link or you can change this to menu and then you can just manually adjust. So for example, I want this one to go a little bit there or I want this one to go uh, deeper. So just manually change all these parameters. But I, I think that that's it. So this is, um, this is it. So quickly create something like that and for your you know, schematic uh, messing study. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.